Hey y'all, so this model in my hand is called a flappy bird. You all can see it flapping, right? So this looks like a crane and this is made with steps almost similar to a crane. And you can have a look at the link on the top which uh, gives the instructions on how to fold a crane. So without further ado, let's start folding a flappy bird. So we start with a square sheet of paper and we'll have to make the bird based on the square sheet of paper. So firstly, we'll fold it along these diagonals. Okay. So uh, we'll take one of these corners and we'll put it on the uh, corner diagonally opposite to it. Similarly, we we'll do it for the other corner. And there we go. So you all can see this cross which has come up on this paper. Now because I was folding in this direction, we all can see that this becomes a valley. If I turn this over, the same thing becomes a mountain. So these are valley and mountain folds. And valley fold becomes a mountain if you turn the paper over. Now to make the bird base, since we have folded it in this direction, we'll have to turn it around in the other direction. And now we have to make a plus over here. So we'll fold the paper in half by putting this edge on top of the edge which is uh, opposite to it and same in the other direction and then we'll use a very simple trick of holding the paper here in these two parts and pushing it on the top so with this we get the square at times this is called the basic square and this is just the beginning of the bird base so how do we fold the bird base so you all can see that there's this part which opens up and there are these four edges in this right so these four edges which are opening up what we'll do is we'll take all these edges and we'll put them on this half line so i'll take this edge and i'll put it on this half line okay and I'll do this for all the sides. So while I'm doing this, just to help me crease, so uh, these folds are pre-creases. So I'll make another pre-crease. So where these two, uh, so when I'm folding this edge on top over here, I'll get these two points over here, right? So what I'll do is I'll fold the top part, this top triangle back like that. And this is again a pre-crease. I'll open this up. Similarly on the other side, and again I'll fold this like that. So how do I fold my flappy bird? I just open this up and these folds, see these are pre-pieces, so I'll have to refold them back inside. Now the previous pull would actually help me doing that and get done on one side, turn it around, open it up like this and use this pre-fold to push it back. So as you can see, it form a flappy bird. I have got two wings and a head and a tail. Okay. This is my head, this is my tail. And I actually want to use a judgment fold over here. So what do I mean by a judgment fold? There's no exact way how much I have to move it. It's according to my own judgment. So uh, here I actually want it to uh, make it like a head. So it should not just stick with the tail. So I'll fold it. So this mark is something like a half line. I'll do it a bit more than that. Somewhere like around that. Similarly with this one, I'll try to mirror the one over there. And I'll get this. Push these two wings on the top. And there we go. So now my flappy bird has got no head, there are only two tails. 
So I'll take one of them and I'll pinch this inside. So this is a very simple rabbit ear fold. So uh, you all can do it by firstly folding it like this. This would give you a head and then you open it and using the edges over there, the pre crease, you push this inside. So there we go. So now our flappy bird is ready. So we hold the head over here and voila, my flappy bird is flapping. Thank you. Happy folding.